Here's the thing. I, I don't want to poison myself against the game. But I just finished playing um I just finished playing uh <laughs> Uh, Senua, uh, the Hellblade, uh, the Hellblade game, and I want to play more of it right now, but I feel like I can't because it's daylight. I feel like it won't be any fun to play in the light of day. I want to play it at night when it's dark. Um, otherwise, I'd be playing it right now. Um, Watch Dogs 2 or probably anything would be disappointing after Hellblade. Hellblade is just like such a fucking experience such an amazing beautiful experience that like literally anything else would suck right now uh yeah and Watch Dogs 2 in particular I just I expected a lot from it and I was disappointed in a few things that are big I don't want to call them deal breakers because I'm still enjoying the game but they're sort of big deal breakers they're almost deal breakers. Ubisoft Club. Leave me alone. What the fuck? Get this shit. Did I click on that? Are you sure want to exit? Yes. Ubisoft has been lost. I don't care. Let me play the game. Alright. I, I don't know how I want to be Ubisoft Club. Whatever. Um, so... Overall, the style of the game, the story, fucking awesome. This is this is a great game in those departments. I love the protagonist. I love his style. Uh, in, in, in those ways, uh, I find this way, way more compelling than the original Watch Dogs. Although, the, you know, the idea that your sister has been kidnapped is, um, like, a fairly compelling story. It's just... The way it's executed and the character himself, I think uh, they, they miscalculated a few things terribly. Like the way the character dresses, I think just doesn't work. And um, the voice actor, his work is a little uneven. Um, and that combi combined with the sort of occasionally very monotone, growly voice, and um, uh, it was kind of a disaster, I think, story wise. And then, um, just sort of the repetitive, you know, Ubisoft open world, like, after a while, you're just exhausted, like, running around, doing the same shit over and over again. Uh, but, I mean, I feel like that's never a problem, because you can always just go straight to the story if you want. But, um, I guess I found that, I found that, like, after a while, even the story parts felt repetitive. And I just felt like, why am I continuing to play this? It doesn't have replayability for me. I mean, when I, when I did play the story for the first time, they called 911 because they jumped in the car, I think. Um, so... So anyway, um, yeah, they're not going to catch me. So what was I saying? Um, yeah, um, this game, like the big deal breakers, look at this fucking white line that's just there all the time. Is there any way to make it go away? It looks horrible. It looks absolutely horrible. Um, in the original game, you hit square, and then you pull your phone out, and then there'd be sort of all these sort of things that, that identify targets, but this, the white line looks terrible. I, I hate it. I, like, absolutely hate it. Then, in the original game, I could listen to my music at any time. I think I still can, because, look, he's got his Walkmans here. So I think there's some way to put the music on. Um, so I think there's some way I can put the radio on right now, but I can't figure it out. Uh, music? Maybe, maybe I need to go to the app store. Get the music, probably that's what it is. Uh, let's try the app shop. Um, media player, $3. There we go, actually that's not so bad. Uh, 
cool is that? Sound like an earthquake. I think, um, uh, I think, uh, the multiplayer element is on right now, so somebody, somebody's fighting the police. Some other, other guy. I mean, we should go have a look. Might be fun to watch. Um, I like that element of it, by the way. Um, let's have, App, App Store, is the media player on now? Yeah, look at that, 58 songs or something. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Um, so the other problem is with the, with the sound. Um, that, like, the sound, it won't let me adjust the, the sound of the, of the media player, right? Like, so I, I can't put the volume up or down, and I can't, um, in the, in the sound options, right? You can't adjust the sound of the, you can only adjust the master, the master sound. So you can only adjust the the music um, and the the master volume, but um, it won't it won't let you change the volume of the music. So oftentimes the music isn't loud enough, and people's voices can be way too loud. So if I push my volume up so I can hear my music okay, then when I hear the people talking, they'll like they'll be like screaming into my ears, and it's just fucked. It's like, how did you, there's like a, um, and there's a standard for games like these. There's an expectation that you can put the, the music volume up. Like in Saints Row, you can do it. In Grand Theft Auto, you can do it. In the previous Watch Dogs game, you can do it. So to fuck something like that up, it's like such a major idiotic thing. And his line is almost worse. It's not worse, but it's almost worse. This little white line, it's like horrible. <laughs> like, look at that. What, what the hell is that? Oh God! What did you do? Yoga enthusiast babysitter. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, these are those are the things that bug me about the game. Um. Other than that, damn, this game looks good. I wonder, is there, maybe, maybe there's something in the options menu. Make the stupid fucking white line go away. How about that? Display, right? Only brightness. HUD. Smartphone notifications, profiler cards, is it? Auto targeting line. Toggle the display of the auto targeting line, which appears between markers and its target. Oh, awesome! So much better. Now, now I can make the line appear by hitting L1. Oh, I fixed the game. Well, all right, so that's not a problem anymore. Oh, wow, the game looks better now. Is can I? But I don't think I can affect the music thing. Can I? Let's 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 try to fuck around with game options some more. Maybe I can fix something else. Ten dollars. T-Bone Content Bundle, Human Conditions, No Compromise, Root Access Bundle, Psychedelic Pack. Alright, let's get out of here. I wonder if that guy in the mask might be T-Bone. He looks like he could be T-Bone. I was wondering if it could be Aiden. That would be hilarious if he was Aiden. I can't really hardly imagine if it was Aiden. 
This is fine though. I don't mind the line appearing when I hit L1. It just annoys me if it's if it's there all the time. It's actually horrible if it's there all the time. It's like game breakingly fucking horrible. But look at that. It's it's fixed. So now I have only one major complaint, and that's the audio problem, which is still major, but. I guess it would just be like taking one point off the review instead of two. But I would take probably a full point off the review for fucking up the audio and being too controlling, I would argue. Far too controlling. I feel like you're a fucking fascist. For all your like, or for all your like, your, your anti-fascist talk in the game, you're being a fascist about the sound that I should be hearing. Because you're not allowing me to put the music volume up. And that's really horrible. It's absolutely fucking terrible. I I don't know, should I look? Let's look it up. Um, I'm gonna look it up online. Um, Watch Dogs 2 Music Volume Impossible to turn music volume down? Somebody wants to turn the music volume down. <laughs> <laughs> and so he said, yep, pretty goddamn annoying. Right about now. Yeah, so people want to turn the volume down. Later on in the missions, yeah, I'm going to want to turn the volume down, probably. Maybe they realized most loved or hated it, which was the case for me. Unfortunately, there's only two songs on the list I loved, so it wasn't even worth sneaking songs. That said, I'm not at all excusing a lack of volume control for music. It's pure laziness. Yeah, I agree with that. Pure laziness. And I I think if it's if it's an artistic decision, it's fascistic. Which th this game's supposed to be super anti-fascist, uh, anti this uh, people get being controlled and having freedom, but then they took away my freedom to have the music that I want up or down, right? I often want to turn it up because I can't I can't hear the music while I'm running around. He's calling the police. Smart technology. Smart technology. Fucking dumb. Dumb. <laughs> Damn, this guy's. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, alright? I, I shouldn't have jumped on your car. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hit him. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hit you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, shit. Jake Broccoli is fucking shit up. <laughs> oh shit. I don't want to team up with him. He's crazy. Damn. This is fucked up. Should I kill him? I guess I should kill him. Um. I don't know, he's just having fun. It's not like they're real people. He's a real person, so I should... I feel like I shouldn't kill him, right? I feel like I should just let him do his thing. This is what he likes to do. And who knows, this person might actually kill me in real life. Like, I could, like, shoot his character and be like, I'm a superhero, I'm gonna stop the bad guy. And then he would, like, kill me in real life. So I think I should just leave him alone. Yeah. That's often how I make my decisions. I'm like... Wait, he could kill me in real life, so let me not fuck with him. <laughs> I'm glad if he's like, if he, I'm glad if he's like executing people in a video game. Well, I think the person that called 911 is dead now. I kind of would like to buy a shirt, but I think he's prevented me from buying a shirt. Something there. Some kind of I object. I think it's just the headquarters is where the shirt thing is. Some kind of object there, but I I I will have to. Oh, I say if I use the the forklift to move that, I can probably get the object.
So I need the um, the ability to hack the object. Yes, yeah, so if I could hack that forklift, then I could do it. Um, should I try that? Oh no, I can't now because I don't have the I don't have the the skill points or whatever. Well, let's try it though. Let's. Oh what? No, no. Put the gun away. What is that? Oh okay, it's gone now. Okay, so whatever that was is gone. Um, well, I'm supposed to go to HQ now, I think. Am I? Yeah, I think there's something they, they told me about at HQ. Damn. I hope the people downstairs aren't dead. It reminds me of, like, um... All the different versions of my character, like, cause like I run into the online person, like Black Jake Broccoli or whatever, and he looks exactly like my character. Uh, it reminds me of uh, that show where the person has all the twin sisters or clones. Uh, uh, spoilers. Uh, I can't remember what that show is called anyway. Whatever that show is, it reminds me of that. I mean, I, I, that's why I'll pretend that they are. Oh, there it is the movie talk. Jake Broccoli left the session. I'm I'm kind of relieved. I don't think that's T-Bone. I think if that was T-Bone, it's not Aiden either. Josh is mad. He does not like that shit. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that drill. And that car is gonna help us do it. Really? He's gonna steal the car? Well, now has a ton of followers. How can, you're not a true fan if you're gonna steal the cyber driver car. Look around and see what other gyms they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. Alright, so it's deal here. Are we issuing advisory? Why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. Uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. Agent Cassidy, you're so funny. We are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is Cyber Driver. Keep these stands in bad dialogue. We can take it. But you've insulted our intelligence. And that we can't excuse. It seems like you're dealing with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll continue to teach you. We are launching Operation Hackama. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are better. That's fucking cool. This thing gives me chills, actually. I, I, I wow. It's kind of crazy because I thought I would, I thought after playing, uh, uh, Senua, I would be unable to even enjoy this, but actually, I'm enjoying it somehow. Is that one that I already got? Damn it, I wish it would show me which one it is. Oh well. The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations. Everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumor 
sources say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Days. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing the reference. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area Dead Set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate Big Data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lived a few years. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. Ouch. Why did I do that? Durr, now I want to go downstairs and like listen to one more thing. Maybe. Or have I listened to them all now? Can, wait, let me see if I can access my files. No, stop pulling your gun out. That's not what I wanted you to do. Alright. Uh, it's this button, right? No. It's the start button. It's the options button. It's weird. I'm used to options being paused, but this doesn't pause at all. Um, which is fine, because it is an options button. It's not start. It's not pause. Um, alright. Um, uh, ah. Maybe, okay, I can't go anywhere else, right? What if, where would there be more? Oh, R1, right? Um, okay. Uh, multiplayer? No at all. Is that it? Mm, no. Um, I'm wondering, like, where... I would think there would be something to replay the stuff that I found. Um, okay. M media player. I want to listen to music right now. Uh, what about App Shop? Um. So, I can't seem to, like, find my collectibles. Because I thought maybe I could listen to... Oh, maybe it's a DeadSec app. Maybe that's what it is. No, what are you... What are you... No, no, no. Okay, no, okay, that's okay, good. How did I make him do that? Whatever, uh. Might be something in the app shop, though. I should probably check out all the apps at some point. Uh, multiplayer. Camera, know it all, driver, SF. Okay, it's not. Dead sec app. Oh yeah, that's just that's just missions, right? I did walk in the park already, apparently. Okay. App shop. There's not that many apps. Uh, I don't know if Source Sneak is good, um, I think. Uh, identify music from your surroundings and add it to your collection in seconds with Source Sneak. The fastest song recognition app around. $4. Find music playing near you and use Source Sneak to identify the song. Ah, cool. Ah uh, yes, I can take song sneak. I can I can get, I can take stuff from the radio with song sneak. That's cool. Um, director's cut. Um, star in your own movies with director's cut. The app lets you experience life through uh, lens. Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's just play it with the regular way, and then. Then if I ever want to play it a second time around, I'll, I'll screw it, I'll download Director's Cut and play with that. Cause I, I like the way everything looks, I don't, I don't feel like I want to mess around with it. It's my decision. My decision. Mine. Okay, I'm not finding anything about playing my music. 
So I guess we should just go. Um, shit. Uh, all right. I should look it up because this is. This, I mean, it's important to me. I can't deny that it's important to me. Wait, did I just leave my car out there? I think I left my little car out there. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to look it up now anyway. Um, no, I guess I didn't leave it out here. Let me just make sure I have it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. Um, Watchdogs Two. Check collectibles. Listen to collectibles. Maybe you just can't do it. Um, Cause you used to be able to in the, in the original walk walk jokes. I could then once I'd found these these audio files around, I could then listen to them whenever I wanted. You know. Maybe it's is it? Is there any chance it's in my media player? Maybe I can use Song Sneak for it. The original Chicago Dead Tech has coordinated operations. Everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. Council of Days. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing the reference. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. Oh, this is the Galleria calling card, and I. But the members of our Bay Area Dead Set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to act. So I've already see it. It's in my. I think it's in my audio player. I think that's what it is. Dead Set found Josh, hot sauce, posting anti-CTOS videos on Envy. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull, but like the worst dollar store skull you could find. You can see his eyes through a big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitar found him easy, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure pure... Wait, no, I should do that. Okay. Dead sec found Josh. Okay, let's see. Hot um, sauce. Posting anti-CT. Josh. on anybody. So he had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull. But like the worst dollar store skull you can find, you can see his eyes through. No, I think the gallery is playing upstairs, and I have that already. Close it. Okay. Um. But maybe it is in my. Probably not in the medium player. Fucking Ark Joan, I see you too. <laughs> Funny. Your future boyfriend, fuck you. And fuck your mother, income error. <laughs> Aesthetic intimidator, income error. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> this is funny. Um, oh, there's something up there to hack. Is there? Dead set found Josh. Hot sauce. It seems like there's no way to keep track of what I've already learned or whatever. 
Look at research. I have four? Do I have four to use? No, I have zero skill points ready. That's fine. Um, <sighs> Not an immediate player, is it? No, definitely not. World rock, rap, punk rock, electronica, pop, classical, all songs. It's all music. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What am I doing? It's probably just not here. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's like things that you expect to be able to do, but then maybe you can't. Maybe it's here in Scout. Taking a photo with a drag queen doesn't seem very politically correct. Uh, I'm not crazy about that. Not that you shouldn't take a photo with a drag queen, just doesn't feel like it's coming from the best place, you know? Like, you shouldn't do it because, because it's a um, freaking thing. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Uh, watch to replay collectibles, maybe I'll type. Watch Drogue 2 keep track of collectibles? Like, can I... It seems, like, weird that I can't tell which ones I've already... Um... Got. Maybe I just shouldn't worry about it. I should play the game, you know? It's just... It feels weird because I... I, I feel like... These should be registered somewhere, the ones that I actually found. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Income error. <laughs> That's Josh. That's funny. That's the first one. The original the Chicago, Chicago Dead Sex. How about the Chicago Dead Sex? So we've, so been, we've been looking, looking at, at this, this new guy. guy. That one's retro. Self retro. Let's talk about Satara. Satara, right? Driving Dead Sex. This one's about hot sauce, I think. Josh. Wrench. 
That was about right. Alright, so I think I found all five of them now. Well, there it is. I, I see. God damn it. Stop it. Uh, how do I... Oh, there you go. I think I have to drive the car in there. Get out of plastic Halloween mask over his face. Okay, and that's the that's the Joshua, and that's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, one for each of the five members, but the only one that's missing is is one on Horatio himself, which Horatio didn't make one on himself. So that's one on Horatio, one on me, Retro, one on the other three, uh, Wrench, Sitara, and Josh. Right, and that's it. That seems to be all the ones that I can find. Alright, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss any of those. Um, it's a little harder to find stuff. It's like harder than the original Watch Dogs. It's another problem. The uh, the game was accused of laziness, and I, I suspect that that might be an issue. Because it's just missing some basic stuff. Like, um... This idea, um, um, you know, first it was missing the music thing, now it's also missing the thing where you would be able to check your collectibles and find them. At least I I don't know how to do it and I can't find I can't find a way to do it. So I can't like re listen to the collectibles that I found except by walking all the way back to them and listening to them again. I think that's a problem. Like I should just be able to listen to the collectibles at any point. Uh Uh, can I get that? Oh, L1 to open things. Find the access key to unlock. Seem to be stuck for some reason. Triangle to pick up. There we go. Weapon paint job. Paint added to 3D printer. Nice.
Okay, so I guess it's this. Um, all right, I'm gonna save the video clip here. Uh, I want to keep making the same mistake. It's, it's a little early. Like I could make, I could add another 10 minutes to the video, but I find that I'm, I often forget. So better to do it now.